Welcome to NTN Nightly. I am Anisia Antoine. This edition's top stories. Tourism Minister Honorable Dominic Fede to hold talks with stakeholders on the performance of the tourism industry. Artist Gary Butt pays homage to the community heroes of Marshall. And the inaugural Urban Adventures Summer Camp sets participants on the right path. The Government of St. Lucia has welcomed the recent Centers for Disease Control CDC, upgrading of the island to Level 1. This is a credit to the protocols that were put in place to address the pandemic. The leadership of the Prime Minister, the Cabinet of Ministers, the Ministry of Health, the Chief Medical Officer and all St. Lucians who continue to adhere to the protocols. Speaking about the recent CDC upgrade, St. Lucia's ambassador to the United States, His Excellency Anton Edmonds, says the CDC report is but one input that informs the state's department's travel advisories. His office, he says, is continuing to engage the relevant authorities, advising and updating them on the protocols that position St. Lucia as a location where safety is a priority of the government for citizens and visitors. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney also continues to advocate on St. Lucia's behalf and has been a champion on the matter of protesting for travellers to St. Lucia and the wider Caribbean. The Prime Minister noted that the success the country has experienced in the management of COVID-19 is in large part due to the cooperation of the population and the hard work of the team at the Ministry of Health. Meanwhile, St. Lucia has also been singled out by the AOL News as a safe place to wait out the pandemic. The selection has generated interest in the island, which Tourism Minister Honorable Dominic Fede is hoping to convert into actual arrival figures. Lisa Joseph reports. Tourism Minister Honorable Dominic Fede says St. Lucia has undoubtedly done well on containing the novel coronavirus and the upgrading of the island by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, CDC, to level one, meaning low COVID-19 risk, is an acknowledgement by the international community of the hard work done by the government and people of St. Lucia. Despite the high ratings, the tourism industry is on a slow climb, with market performance remaining low. Load factors for the airlines are averaging 30% on the destination route. Hotel occupancies are also low, affecting profitability. Honorable Dominic Fede says the ministry and stakeholders are assessing, reorganizing and improving the tourism products. We have an opportunity with the recent announcement by the CDC that St. Lucia is one of the safest places in the world for people who are looking to wait out the COVID pandemic to travel to and to go to. Uh, we, we certainly are number one in the Caribbean uh, from all the reports that we have seen. Um, we are the best country uh, in terms of how we've managed COVID-19 in the Americas or the Western Hemisphere. So we are very, very pleased that we are among one of only eight countries in the world by the CDC. That is quite special um, to be named in such a prestigious and elite group of countries that have really done an exceptional job in the management of COVID-19. The ministry is continuing to dialogue with the various subsectors of the tourism industry. Discussions were held this week with car rental operators, events and promoters to find the best and safest possible way of reopening. Minister Fede says government is deeply concerned about the thousands of St. Lucians who have been made jobless due to the impact of COVID-19. We, we are going to be talking to the hotels a little later this week to see uh, what we can do how we can work together to uh, make it a little better for them. Um, all of the sectors that we have spoken to are having significant difficulty, whether it's in events, whether it's uh, the day boat operators, whether it is the car rental companies, uh, which I just came out of the meeting. Um, it really isn't a, a rosy economic picture for these sectors, and we are working very feverishly to see how we can um, create the best enabling environment for them, even uh, amidst this very difficult time. An estimated 2,000 tourism workers are back on the job in the hospitality and taxi sectors. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.
15 tourism properties, meantime, have been COVID-19 certified for reopening. Supporting sectors like sites and attractions and dive activities are working towards resuming. Donald Invite is the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism. We, we continue to look at you know, what the probability of risk is and at what time we could determine what services um, that can be added to the pool. Um, dive is, a, is an activity that, that can happen very safely um, and we have been able to work with the Dive Association and the many um, dive operators. There are dive operators at the hotels that are open as well. And as of Monday gone, 17th of August, we had the resumption of dive activities that really joined the day boat activities that we had started. Um, apart from dive, we are also considering and working with sites and attractions so that day two can um, get themselves ready. Their protocols that they uh, have to put in place, they have been open for the local public. However, when we start to look at the um, resumption of service to the high-risk market at the COVID-certified properties, we want to ensure that they go top-notch, you know, in their cautions and their controls. So we're working with them to ensure each and every one of them who have presented themselves to participate in um, activities to, to their plan, they are ready and they're sanctioned to operate. A mural project is now underway in Masha Castries to commemorate the heroes of that area and draw awareness to their significant contribution to community development. Jesse Leos tells us more. Visual artist Gary Butte is busy transforming the empty outwalls of the Mindu Philip Park into an ode to outstanding citizens of the Marsha area. It is a mural project that depicts the likeness of these community heroes, ensuring that current and future generations know of their legacy. Butte listed some of those featured on what has now been dubbed the Heroes Wall. We have, um, we have um, Alicia John, who was the principal in the JP. Um, in Marsha, we have Pan Andrew Shining, who has made his contribution in Steel Pan. Um, we have Joyce Ogis, who was a cultural icon. She has done a lot in, in on sports as well. Um, we have Arnold Clowden. Arnold Clowden has done a lot in, his, in sports, in football, in coaching the younger generation. And I think that he should also get some kind of recognition. We also have um, James Belgrave, is another one who has. He, he, in fact, James Belgrave has, has a court inside the, 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 the Mindo Philip Park. Uh, that he made his own contribution to see that the sports um, fraternity develop um, back in, in, in those days. Through the visual aesthetic, murals are said to promote a sense of belonging and strengthen community identity. From the onset, there was engagement with Marsha residents on the figures best suited for this recognition. This project has, uh, has been um, going on for over um, a period of about two months. Um, it really started with conceptualizing, um, doing research, um, engaging the school. Um, I must say that the Marsha Primary School um, has really been involved in the research um, with the teachers and students, getting information on the on on the people of the of the of, of the of the community, and um, getting a lot of feedback from from the people as to who's best to to be on the on the wall. Though incomplete, the Heroes Wall has already become a conversation starter with residents who are eager to learn more about the individuals being painted. The muralist hopes for versions of this type of commemoration to be recreated in other communities island-wide. I think it's something that can also be replicated in many other communities because I am very, very certain that a lot of communities have hidden heroes that people do not know of. And, um, the only way you can get to know about them is to put them out there. And um, this is why I will say it again that we have come up with that concept for people to recognize the heroes and see how much that they have contributed and how now the younger generation could follow that, that, that pattern. Meantime, the Marsha project is still in its first phase. An unveiling of the finished mural will be held upon its completion. This East Castries mural is the latest undertaking by Gary Butte, who has over 20 years of artistry under his belt. For the Government Information Service, I am Jessie Leons reporting. More than 20 young persons are better equipped to explore entrepreneurship after participating in the inaugural Urban Adventures Summer Camp. 
The Junior Achievement Program of St. Lucia hosted the closing ceremony for the first ever Urban Adventures Summer Camp. The Junior Achievement Program focuses on three educational pillars for success, financial literacy, entrepreneurship and readiness. The camp focused on the new strategies of the Junior Achievement Program and created an avenue to develop the youth and ensure sustainability for the program. Approximately 21 participants graduated from the two-week-long program. Parliamentary representative for Grosley, Honorable Leonard Montout, noted that the different aspects taught at the camp will aid in the holistic development of the youth. These are qualities, these are skills that you should begin to practice as of now and take with you for the rest of your life. To learn to become an entrepreneur is more important than ever. Gone are the days when you can have an education in St. Lucia and expect to get a job in the public service or in some establishment. More and more, you have to begin to think innovatively as to how you can provide employment for yourselves. That will become very critical in the aftermath, well, I'm saying aftermath as if I know that COVID-19 is about to end. But whether we have to live with it or if we are fortunate enough in any time soon to come out of it, I know that in the aftermath we will need the, the qualities that you've learned here today. Chairman of the Junior Achievement Program, Kurt Hossam, expressed gratitude to all stakeholders involved in the initiative. It is said it takes a community to raise a child. So I found it fitting that one of the, apart from etiquette, fundamentals of banking and finance, arts and crafts, teamwork, savings, and physical fitness that are all necessary, we dealt with agriculture, the fundamentals of agriculture. And I want to draw a parallel to us today, that we have a responsibility to continue to sow seeds for the future in our children today. Everybody could agree with me? Yeah? We are sowing seeds. This program is sowing seeds of development for future, for our future, because this is the future of the nation. It is within our young people. And in equipping them with such fundamental skills enables them to be able to go out and to be functional in our world. And that is at the heart of junior achievement. We want to encourage the spirit of entrepreneurship and we want to do so in a collaborative fashion. Jim Xavier, Director of Community Service, encouraged participants to remain disciplined and keep focused on their goals. I want to admonish you to continue in this vein, you're on the right track in life. That with discipline and the level of focus that you've shown, that you are destined to, to reach very far. Uh, I want to compliment the parents, you've done an excellent job. Um, continue parents, providing the support for them. The ministry will be there to support GA and the other community organizations to ensure that they go very far. The closing ceremony for the Urban Adventures Summer Camp took place on Wednesday, August 26, 2020. From the Government Information Service, I am Anicia Antoine reporting. This is NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson with the NTN Novella Quayol. In an effort to ensure patient and first responder safety, the St. Lucia Fire Service has reviewed its patient transfer procedures, especially for patients with respiratory distress. Face masks will be provided. At no time during transportation should the face mask be removed. Please be patient and cooperative during this time to ensure you receive the best possible care while keeping our first responders safe. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Novella Quayol. Monsieur Ta, Anisia, Monsieur Madame, Department of Responsabilité pour Information and Gouvernement de cette GIS et Télévision Nationale pour la NTN, Capuzato Nouvelle à Creole. Capuzato, Primus Hutchinson. Nous avons fait une pour l'initiative pour hausser les valeurs résidentes de la commune marchande, qui a fait une grande contribution, pas seulement pour la commune, 
me simply see general man gary but present man katavai asu your mural for petty way portway please resident marshal qui fait contribution à musique sport éducation à parmi lot selon but mon seul travail ça là c'est une façon pour encourager les jeunes pour apprécier contribution les plus grands citoyens pour développement par ressio except le si à total but déclarer que mural ça là c'est un cadeau pour marchand ça c'est euh, un cadeau pour marchand pour pour monde ça euh, euh, um, apprécier et ouais c'est 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 mon c'est mon qui notre génération a kai kai apprécié apprécié pour ça yo j'ai fait et yo kai point là et pour et mener à so a lot à so a lot à à à à lot hotte so so mais quoi il ça il il pas just uh, uh, by qui a fait un marchand et c'est by qui ça fait à tout pays là because nous ni toutes ces monde ça tout comme comme uh, tout commune nous ni monde uh, sur les vieux fort souffrier gosilé nous nous ni ces monde ça mais ces monde ça c'est yo 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 ka am 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 qui qui était ces monde ça am c'est ces monde ça am de 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 la la porte la porte là nous mais nous mais nous voulait ces monde ça devant la porte là ce ce monde ça ouais yo monde ça pour essayer ça yo j'a fait et pour génération qui va venir so yo ka connaître ces monde ça euh et yo ka prend place ces monde ça Monsieur Bert aussi mentionné à dans ces grecs là qui apparaît à ce grand mural là. À le chat John, il a fait bon travail pour communauté à nous ni Pan Andrew um shining um il a um fait by um a music still pan pour communauté nous ni um mon corps James Bell Grave pour qui a aidé mon qui qui um um younger um John John Washington um nous ni Arnold Clowden so tout ce monde ça qui était en football qui était qui a train tout tout toutes ces young um um tout toutes ces um jeunes tout toutes ces jeunes jeunes là um nous ni mon corps um Joyce Ogis qui qui sort un pays um uh commune là et um il j'a fait bon bail à de côté so um c'est c'est um c'est c'est um young um a few other ces monde là um me no ne um a pil mo a pil mon ki kai vini um because marchand it al telma marchand it telma me même ka di marchand c'est um capital castri diwan ce semaine ki j'a passé ministre de santé te continuer pour pour tuer des tailles pour public là parce que manier la fièvre dengue ka augmenter cette ci et ça j'a placé pays à dans une position qui sérieuse quand c'est des degrés qui la fièvre là car si manger ça veut dire les mots au monde qui j'ai trouvé affecté plus haut qui ça va pour ca montrer pour le présent pour raison ça là et j'ai venu très nécessaire pour ministère de santé bail situation grande attention immédiatement selon épidémiologiste docteur Michel François ça c'est docteur qui qualifié un médicament pour maladie comme ça depuis semaine le 9 pour le 15 août cette ci j'ai enregistré et confirmé 168 cas la fièvre dengue et dit malgré la pas connu pièce la mort à résultat de la fièvre là majorité c'est cas ces enfants en l'âge de 5 pour 13 ans docteur François a déclaré que j'ai découvert que tous les des grades de la fièvre ça là en situation à cette ci particulier à nord mitan et qu'en face à soleil les vents à cette ci là aussi ni wa pour qui yon de cas ka existé à face à sud et face à soleil couchant les autorités très concernées parce que situation ça là ça placer encore yon plus gros pèse à ce pays là comme nous ka fait bataille à présent contre maladie corona en particulier pour traitement en l'hôpital à toute façon qui ça ça affecté aussi économie pays aussi la mort et qu'affectement des affaires touristiques ils seront la fièvre qui a sorti par Mengwe et des Égyptiens 
le yo mode yo moun. Yo ka poun an dlo ki net e ka enklo seze sa la an se dlo sa la ki moun ka ki te expose o le yo ka yo ek lot kote a publik. La fèb de nge ka afekte publik plis a se zo la plia. E ka l'okasyonè bousoy, bousol a soul a pou ka en de koz osi yon pou vomi pou ni pen a zye osi a jwen yo pe osi pase sa an nè sa siv ek la sel. Le solovite ka fè publik la sav ki la pa ni yon la vaksin pou la fèv dengue. Ek sel proteksyon se pou detwi se mengwe ya ki ka pote maladi sa la. Gouvernement set le si, ja bien vini wapo ki soti wi set man ka moutwe ki set le si prezet man pli ba a sou lis peyi ki an wis di maladi korona. Informasyon sa la soti hod sot ki weska sa pou kontrol de maladi peyi l'Amerik. Wapo sa la ka moutwe degwe e fo ki ja fet pa prel minis set le si onorab Alin Chasne, li mam li kabinet, minis gouvernement, minis di sote, chef ofisye medikal Dr. Sharon Belmo George, ek tout set li sien ki ka kontune pou swiv ek obey se protokol ki an plas a set li sien. Ambasadè set li si a l'Amerik Anton Edmonds di ki ma gwe l'Amerik poko chanje wa po aso set li si. Inote kat mem ajans la konsidwe wa po ki sa sorti hod si di si a. A wuzolta di sa, ambasadè Edmonds mi make ki yo ka kontune pou engaje les autorite e ka konseye yo a sou de mach gouvernement set li si kap wan pou proteje set li si e le sitwaye l'Amerik osi. Prem minis onema ba Alen Chasne ka kontune yo pou chache si po an set li siye, pou set li siye, ni ki ni bwizyen, ek pou fè asuye ki tout moun touve teste, ki ka voyaje an wijo kare bla, ek an set li si. Prem minis Chasne deklare ki, de gwe sikse ki pe ya ja espiyanse pou menaje maladi korona, efektivman se an wezolta di kooprasyon populasyon an, ase populasyon pe yi set li si, ek le travaye an ministra de sate, me Prem minis la vè ti ki Padan, sa se bon nouvel pou nou konyon nasyon. Se fò set li siye kontwene pou ka swiv tout protokol ek adopte labite de nef ek pou sa pou pa jeme la dje bwit dezatasyon an ki ka konsene maladi korona a set li siye. Ek se kon sa, nou mwa twa bout nouvel la, mese vedam, pou ka besi ou tan pou ka gade, mwa ka pa yon invitasyon pou jene pi mwa ko, si de konsene la vi, de gany pou zotan lot nouvel an kwe yon la preza, Merci à Peel Primus. That brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am Anisia Antoine.